Hey guys, it's Squiggly MDV here, and today I will show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy J3 6, the 2016 version. So the Galaxy J3 6. So if you have, so if you have the version which is like, if, if the box came with like the little six on a, on the side of the J or on the next to the three, then I'll start to root that. And if you're still confused, go and check your version. No, not version, sorry, your model number, which is which is the SM SM slash J three two zero FN. Disclaimer, um, just for for the uh, disclaimer. If you're willing to root this without a computer, like on the phone, this phone can't be rooted using a phone. For some weird reason, it's like too new because it is 2016 version. So I don't think they've made a root for the phone version yet. Plus, the phone isn't powerful enough to hold root. Anyways, previous phones can be rooted because it's previous. It's an older phone. So yeah, just to show you, it's rooted. Um, Uh, I'm not sure if, if you can make that out, but there's a tick here. I'll do more reviews like this if you want. Uh, I may not, I may not be doing Windows Phone reviews anymore, Windows Phone stuff anymore, because I'm switched to Android now, which is kind of weird. Well, it's not weird because Android is my second choice. I never choose Apple. I, I used to have an Android tablet, I used to hack that all the time, I used to do some hacking and that and stuff, I used to root it, oh, actually I have I never root that tablet, but I recently rooted it, but no use no more, I don't have that tablet anymore, but basically what you're going to do is, I'll leave a link down in the description, if I forget please remind me in the description, if, not, if I forget please remind me in the comments, I mean sorry, I, I'll try and leave a link down in the description for everything we do here, so basically, what you would do is you would need three things. You need you need Odin. You would need so you need Odin, and you need the root file. First things first, go to this website, which will be in the description. Go to this website, need ROM. So we're you are installing a ROM here actually. So go to this um, go to this site. Once you've done that, make an account because you won't be able to um, you won't be able to get the ROM without making an account. So make an account. Once you've done that, click on links. Sorry, wait. Click on J3. You can click the bomb here on the links. Uh, what else do I need? After you've done that, this should be downloading right here. We're gonna do this. You're gonna well, once you've done that, open it. it. Should be open. And then what you would do is you would extract it to some folder. I extracted it on here. I don't need to extract it because I've already done it. You'd extract it, and then once you would do this, you would go to. Olden, just type in old, just type in Samsung Olden or Olden something on Google, and then you would download, and then you would um, download the latest version. So you would click the latest version here, download it, and then. Once that's done, once that's done, you will click the sign here, which kind of looks sketchy, kind of looks like one of those fake download things, because it's next to an ad choice. Click on it, it should download, and then it may say here caution. It may say here um, click one, get one, uh, get um, one click root. Don't get one click root. I fell, I fell for that as well. It's not very good. So don't get one click root. Yeah, don't click get don't get one click root. I fall for that as well. So download proceed to my tutorial here. Once you've done that, 
you should have the have extracted and then you should go to AP click AP don't click C don't click don't click BL click AP and then click if there's two files should be coming down click boot MD5 yeah boot MD5 but it should be the one that is root not stock root if you wanna uninstall root then click click stock but surely there's an app on the store or a thing which you can unroot anyways without having a need a computer but if you can't do that way then for some weird reason click the stock version if you wanna revert back to normal Samsung no root click on it should be take any options don't move, don't do anything here it should be preset don't click anything here and then next what you would do is on your device you should on your device here on your device hold the power button and then click restart and then hold the power button and the down volume down and the home button at the same time as quick as you can just before the phone starts do that again so basically hold the power button the volume down and the home button it should work just keep clicking it, keep holding it. Just try again until you get it. And then click up. Like I said, continue. Here we go. You click up. But before you press start, before you press start, before you press start, there is one more file. There's a file there at the bottom that says root image. Before you click start, you would find you would go to file explorer on your computer and then wherever you save the wherever you saved it should be like root image if for some weird reason when you extract the files to your the default to the place it doesn't come it doesn't like extract their root, root images in there just drag it out from WinRAR or wherever you just drag it out just extract it separately because that happened to me but click on root image then you would what you would do is this is the part where people get confused what you do is you would actually just put it on your device or actually it's not here but it's not here but initially this your phone you should say Samsung J3 or whatever you named it and there should be two options saying Samsung, no, not Samsung, SD card or card, this doesn't really matter, card, and then it says Android, I think. That's the root folder because it does say on the website root, put it on your root folder, put it on the folder phone root. It just it just means put it on the root, just put it, it just means put it on your main, like, external, uh, put it on your main, like, storage of the phone. Click on Android or whatever it should say, but don't put it on the SD card if you have an SD card installed in here. And then, you should then you should be good to go. Then you should be good to go. That's the thing I forgot. I forgot to mention. Before you do all this, before you before you turn your phone off, just go to settings. I, I, I sorry, I forgot to mention that as well. Once you've put your, once you've done that, once you put your, once you put the root image into the main store, main phone storage thing, just basically do what I said, do what I said, do what I said just before, restart the phone, however you want to do it, power off the phone, and then turn it back on by holding on, and then just hold the power button down, volume down, home button, try try it and try it until you get to the thing and then up press up once you've done that you press start sorry once you've done that press start
then your phone should restart and then once you've done that go to your phone go to play store and download root checker and then you should say root accessed or something or root successful this is the only way I know how to do it but I don't know any other way of rooting the J3 without a phone but if there is one I will let you know guys so a recap so a recap of what we did so download links in the description download the files link to the description go to the website go to the website make an account root should download something go to older and download the latest download, click here it says here something about one click root don't trust that you actually have to pay for the thing just click here it looks sketchy but click it once you've done that click on AP once you click that extract everything extract everything and if you can't see the root image extracted extracted separately and then what you would do is you would um, click on AP wherever you extracted it click on the one that says root click on AMD5 root not stock root and then click start no don't click start sorry click um restore your phone holding power home volume down click start here click start but before you do all that I keep forgetting this put the root image in your storage file and then reclaim then you click start then it should restart and then you should get a message then you, then you should get a message on root checker if you when you download root checker and place it all successful and then there you go I'll show you I'll show you how to set up how to perfectly set up a rooted phone in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please watch my main channel. I have a QA coming out soon. I'll also be doing lot of many things. I am also I also do gaming challenges QA the main channel if you from if you don't if you don't know my main channel. How are the days? Have a good day. Stay awesome and goodbye.